Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's learn how to find missing artwork in your iTunes music collection. So if you've purchased iTunes music only from the iTunes store, then you have album artwork for everything. But if you've gotten it from other sources, such as taking the music from your own CD collection, then you may be missing some artwork. Now iTunes is great in filling in the blanks. It will in fact get artwork for you even if you purchased the CD and brought it into iTunes that way. It will grab artwork from its own artwork collection and fill up iTunes with that artwork. But not all albums are available on iTunes and if they are not, iTunes can't find the artwork for it. So let's look at how you can fill in the gaps and fill your entire iTunes collection with artwork for every album. Okay, so here I am in iTunes and notice I've got a few albums in here that don't have artwork. One of the first things I want to do is I want to make sure I'm signed into my iTunes account. Even create one even if you're not buying anything because this gives you access to the artwork in iTunes. Then I'm going to go into preferences and I'm going to make sure that under store I have it set to automatically download missing album artwork. And I click on that and it'll give me a confirmation and I click OK. And now this means when I import new albums, it'll automatically look for artwork there. Now for albums that I've already got here, I can go ahead and select it and then go to store and say uh sorry, it's under advanced, get album artwork. It will ask me for confirmation again, and it'll go out and look for the artwork. Okay, so suppose iTunes hasn't found the artwork. Well you gotta go out and find it yourself. First thing I like to do is switch to a good view in iTunes which shows me which albums are missing artwork. So I switch usually to list view and I make sure I use command G to show this artwork column to the left. I can scroll up and down and see that this album here is missing artwork. Now I want to select all of the songs in it so when I add artwork to it it won't just add it to the first song, it will add it to all of the songs. Now I have to go to the internet. Now a lot of people like to look for the album artwork inside of Amazon. I sometimes like to go to allmusic.com. You can search by album name and usually you get a pretty quick result and the album artwork itself is never too big. It's just about the right size so you can see a good piece of artwork but it's not going to take up tons of space on your iPod and iPhone. Now back over here in iTunes I've selected all these. Sometimes I have to actually start playing the first song just for a second there to have it appear in the now playing window here which is what you get when you click on this little triangle at the bottom and it says drag album artwork here because there isn't any. So I can go ahead and drag right from Safari over into iTunes. Now I have that piece of artwork applied for the album and for all the songs in the album. Now you can choose whatever album artwork you want. It doesn't have to actually be the album artwork. So for instance in this collection here of violin concertos uh, there's really no album here. It was just uh, something freely available. So uh, I'm going to create my own. They're all Bach concertos so I've searched for images of Bach and I'm going to go ahead and drag one of these into here. I'm going to start playing it first so it appears in the now playing window at the bottom. I'm going to go pick uh, one of these images, drag it there and there I've created my own artwork for this which looks a lot nicer than the blank one that iTunes provides. Now if you want to clear out artwork, maybe it's the wrong piece of artwork there or maybe the artwork's too big and you want to replace it with something else, you can go ahead and select the song or songs and one of the things you do is control click and just out of view here it says clear downloaded artwork. Now this only works if you've downloaded it from iTunes. So in this case it's a custom piece of artwork that I've added. It won't work. What I can do instead is I can go ahead and select the song and I see here in the information window there's all sorts of bits of information. The last one is artwork. I can select a piece of artwork, delete it from there and click OK. So I find even with a very large music collection it's not that hard to fill in all the gaps. Let iTunes do most of the work for you. Then go ahead and open up Amazon on Music and Google Image Search in your browser. Go ahead and go through your iTunes collection, search, drag and drop and you pretty quickly fill in all the gaps. Now there are some scripts and some special applications that will help you with this. But in my experience a lot of them don't really work very well and some of them will actually break with every single little update to iTunes. As a matter of fact some of the most popular ones simply stop working with the latest iTunes update. And it's not really that hard to go through this. I have a pretty big iTunes collection and I'm able to fill in the gaps pretty easily. There are actually other ways to do it as well. You notice when I open the info window you could simply add artwork right there in the info window. Drag and drop works. You can go ahead and rearrange your artwork in there and have multiple pieces of artwork for a single song. So there are a lot of different options in iTunes and there's a lot of different ways to go and keep all your artwork updated in your iTunes collection. Till next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.